Hey guys, this is uh, TKS8 in Roblox Studio. I thought I'd update you on another update, a quick hot fix, if you like, of my uh, Garden Angel Defender plugin. I've added a way of actually turning off if it finds anything unknown, like let's just say it comes across C's and it's not in the database, it will, uh, if this was set to true, it will remove it as if it's a virus object. So it put it inside quarantine. I've purp purposely, I can't, I can't speak tonight, purposely uh, infected this place so I can test it. There's over, I think, 2,000 objects inside this place that, that's been infected. So if I run the scan, yeah, so what I've done is I've added that switch to the settings and if it finds any of the objects while that setting is true, it will suck it in into the quarantine so that all works now and if it does actually find something that it does not uh, understand or it's not inside the database it will put an output it will be in a sort of an orange text say saying this object has not been found in the database we might get a few in a minute please contact me or Tigaza for the uh, to add this to the database so I think from now, unless there's still some bugs in this code, I think all I need to do now before the 1.0 is just to polish and optimize the code a bit. Okay, it's already done 3,000 entities, 4,000 now. So I've also made it a little bit quicker in searching where beforehand I used to go through a for loop every single object where now I just index it in, in a table and it's a lot quicker where beforehand it used to go through, I don't know, hundreds of objects and thus if you've done a for loop through, I don't know, a thousand objects let's just say it takes about a second sometimes depending on the computer this new way I've uh, index rewritten the code for the indexing and it references the actual object inside the table so all it has to do is just look look it up like an index and it goes let's say it's on page five etc oh there we go so we've got some errors in the bottom they're not really any bre uh, script breaking errors but as you can see here error cone handle adornment not found in database please contact Tigaza with this error so you can add it to the database thank you so and then it just uh, spits out where it is in the code so if you get any of these uh, in this version please contact me and I'll, so I can add it to the database to uh, where are we uh, do, do, do. into this thing so then I can uh, sort out what's what and yeah I've been doing a lot of work with this function here <laughs> trying to uh, get it from the way I had it all over the place to streamline it to go through this setting here all this does is just look up at this table here and if it finds it it returns it otherwise if it don't find it it returns this one here which is unknown which is how I, un how I handle the unknown settings or unknown uh, objects so how have I got it on my thing now yeah I've got it on remove unknown objects. Let's close that. This might take a while. I might have to cut this here and then come back when it's finished because it's going to take a little while. So what I'm going to show is what it would do with the two modes. I might actually clean this place up and redo it again. So be bear with me a few secs. Well for you it'd probably be instant because I've probably cut this bit out. But Oh well, there we go, we've got pages, 30 pages, 31, there you go, and that's how the paging system works, very simple. Anyway, I'll catch you in a little bit, and we're back, I think, yep, we're back, I think, yep, we're back. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so if I set this setting to false, I've just cleaned up the place as well. 
So hopefully these objects should not move from this place but it should empty out the, the uh, biases inside the objects. So yeah they're all infected including my folder. So yep there's loads of, loads of them in there. <laughs> anyway let's see what happens. Hopefully I programmed this right. We've had a few little errors here and there which I still have to iron out like uh, the some of the containers inside here were being put back into the workspace which is un very unusual I must have missed something somewhere yeah there we go so it's taken the ones that it doesn't understand no what are safe or classes safe but at the same time it has viruses inside it so it's taken the object itself so I might change that in, the, in just before I release this because that's meant it's just meant to get rid of the place things inside so I still a little bit of refinement here and there but we should see them in our quarantine which is there there we go and what is that right so where is that yeah, let's restore that that was in here so yeah it's sort of still in its infancy at the moment but the setting is there to turn off if you don't want it to remove the whole thing I might uh, refine that later like uh, version I don't know version 0.9b or something when I refine it a bit better it's a setting that uh, I might even disable I don't know it's just something an afterthought if you like but anyway the major part of the code itself is working which is the main thing and if I do forget to uh, to change these settings like uh, we might get a few of the containers coming back into the workspace basically like uh, oh that's a load of them blimey yeah so it would normally it shouldn't really do it but uh, sometimes some of the containers get actually get put back into the workspace and like I've had, had an error here where I removed the container when it still indexed it, indexed it and it crashed the uh, the plugin so it's still in its infancy at the moment I'm not too 100% sure what's going on there I'll have to have a look at these lines in fact let's have a look at those with you so that's 1947 so it's removing it from the quarantine my container name which is the container name itself right okay and we're in the function remove remove all so there must be a bug in this code somewhere I spent most of the day going through this code and as you can see about that lot 26 or 2600 uh, lines of code nearly 2700 lines of code so yeah, as you can imagine it's a bit of a job <laughs> yeah so the bits I've written rewritten was uh, let's see if I can find them where you see you remember me saying about this this get stats uh, function I've actually rewritten that where beforehand I used to do it, handle it in this script and it's really slow so now let's, let's actually have a look at that copy let's find the example what I've done yeah there we go database get stats and the class name where beforehand as I commented out I was using this function here and it would go through all the objects every single time it searches for an item and as you can imagine that was slow like I've still got the function itself I just commented it out yeah there we go for key in value in this table which is the table that my objects were in and find it by this key and if it fi found it 
found that key it would break out of that for loop but it could be right down the bottom of the table thus very very slow so I've rewritten that inside my database with this function much quicker where all it does is references itself in the objects table inside itself which is what this is and if it finds it it returns this table if it does not find it it returns that one and of course I've set a return flag for a uh, to tell the script what what it is etc like if it's uh, known that returns true if it's not known then it returns false oh well a bit of script script free lesson <laughs> god am i tired today i've only had about four hours sleep so as you can imagine i've had a long old day today anyway so i thought i'd update you on my uh my plugin not version 9.8 hotfix and it looks like this hotfix needs another hotfix <laughs> because there's still a few things I'm not quite happy with so hopefully by the time you see this video I should have the update out anyway this has been Tigaza in Robot Studio on my update on my Cardinal Angel Defender version 9.8 better hotfix uh, plug bonus checker plugin bit of a mouthful and I'll catch you guys later Tigaza signing out Damn promises! Breaking my scripts! What's going on there then? Eh? Yeah.